Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to back up and restore your Nintendo Switch save games using a homebrew application called Checkpoint. Checkpoint is a simple and easy to use program that will allow you to back up and restore saves for almost any Switch game. Since this is homebrew after all, it requires you to install custom firmware such as Atmosphere. I'll have a link to that in the video description if you want to install Atmosphere, which also comes bundled with Checkpoint in it if you follow the whole guide. So before you continue watching this video, you should install Atmosphere and then come back. Once that's installed, you should already have Checkpoint. But if you do not have Checkpoint for some reason on your Switch or you followed a different guide, then you'll need to download it. I'll have a link to this in the video description, of course. When downloading, make sure you choose Checkpoint.nro. The other files are for the 3DS, not the Switch, since this homebrew is being developed as a cross-platform tool. Once you've got it downloaded, right-click and copy it. Then navigate in your Switch folder on your micro SD card and paste it in there. If it asks you to overwrite, say yes. Now that's all the setup that there is and you can eject your micro SD card from your PC and then put it back into your Switch and then launch Atmosphere using your preferred method. I'll be using the R4S dongle, but it doesn't really matter what you use just as long as you get into Atmosphere. While in Atmosphere, navigate to the album and then the homebrew launcher should load. Scroll over to checkpoint and then press A to launch it. On this next screen, you'll see all your installed games. Press minus to see the controls, L and R to scroll between the pages, A and B to go in and out of games, and X to delete save backups. I'll just show you a few examples on how to make backups for various games and how to restore them and also how to delete them now. Once you're all done with what you need to do, you can press plus to exit or just turn off the console. If you don't want to touch these saves and just keep these for later, then you can just leave them as they are. As you saw, I created three backups for different games, and now all of these are on my SD card. In this next section, I'll be showing you how to view these on your micro SD card, and how to edit certain save files too. To view the saves you've backed up, you can go inside of the Switch folder on your micro SD card, then inside of Checkpoint, and then inside of Saves. Here you'll see all of the games, and you might need to expand this tab a little bit like I just did here to see the full names. Then inside of the Games folder is where you'll find the save-related files. As a little bonus, I'll be showing you an example of me using a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe save editor that I found online to edit my stats, and then I'll be restoring it too using Checkpoint. So I'm going to launch this up and then edit my VR and change it to 90,000. Now that I'm done, I can click save and then overwrite the original file on my SD card. This will make sure everything is in the same format, so Checkpoint should be able to see the save file just as normal, and then it can restore it too without any problems. The next step once it's all saved is to restore it using Checkpoint like I just said, because right now it's not doing anything, it's just sitting on my SD card not making any changes to the game. So I'm going to launch into Atmosphere and then load up Checkpoint real quick. So as you can see, I'm back inside of Checkpoint again and I can restore my save game just like I showed you before. Once that's done, you're all set. That's mostly all there is to show you with Checkpoint. Like I said, this is just a pretty basic program, but it gets the job done. So thank you guys for watching, leave a like if this video helped you, comment with any questions or concerns you may have, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you next time.